working every day. I'm a working woman. And welcome to the weirdest kingdom on this side of YouTube. I'm Princess Adia, aka Adia, and welcome to my channel. Hello. Hello. Welcome. I am here as a fresh and new 20 year old. I don't know how it happened. I left the start of the pandemic as an 18 year old. I am now a 20 year old. Since I have turned 20, I got some cool stuff including this dress here you guys have never seen this before because i just got it for myself for my birthday but i thought i'd show i got some stuff for my birthday that was from this one specific brand um i actually am, i kind of i didn't really get any presents kind of like that i just asked my mom to buy me something and she bought it for me um i didn't do anything on her birthday i had my period and i was in an immense amount of pain so i'm very happy i did not plan on doing anything for my birthday <laughs> So, I got asked my mom to buy me some stuff from this from the specific store brand, um, and I was like, "Yay, I got it, whatever." And then I was like, "Oh, there's some other stuff I wanted from before." And one of the things that I wanted was still was in stock in my size, so I decided to get that. There are two more things that I want that are in stock in my size right now. They've been restocked, and I need to get them soon because they're so cute anyway but as I was saying I got them I got so I got two things for, for my mom from the store and then two things for myself for this store from the store so I'm excited to show this to you um I they are things from Lucy and Yak I don't know why it took so long to let you guys know that but I guess it's just been building up the hype because I really do love Lucy and Yak it's very exciting. I'm very excited because one, um, I like the little things that they do to make sure that they are ethical and um, eco-friendly and it it makes me happy to know that I'm buying stuff from a place that's doing these things um, as well as um, that they're cute and they're somewhat affordable. Obviously, the fact that they're a little bit more, they're priced up more is that they're chart they're giving their workers a level wage too i think it's also just cool that you know how do i say it? it's cool that i can buy stuff that is it's it's pacing me essentially pacing me so i don't buy like lump sums so just go in and buy a whole bunch of stuff at once um just not over consuming obviously the goal is not to just buy ethical things um like you're supposed to just be slowing down your consumption of what you're buying and how much you're buying and doing that and finding these smaller brands and their higher price points you know that you're going to get something that you actually want because that price point is higher the, the stock is smaller and you just get a lot more intricate things into your um wardrobe that you probably wouldn't get from like Shein or whatever obviously it's not always going to be like oh buying from these places like, I still do buy stuff from ASOS, um, but it's not like as, I mean, I never really brought things from ASOS that frequently, obviously, um, or mod cloth, which I just started to buy from because, you know, sizing. <laughs> so I'm excited to just put out me becoming more eco-friendly and, um, more conscious of where I'm buying from and what I'm giving my, who am I giving my money to. So the first thing we have here is this lovely dungaree set. Like, look at this print, first of all. It's so vibrant on camera. Um, usually, I would not go for something with black in it. I've been trying to keep away from, like, things with black. And if it does have black, it's a very minute amount of black. But there's a good amount of black here. And I don't think it, it actually just adds to the color. Like, the only other thing that I'm thinking of that I want that has black is that I really want to get, like, all all of, like, you know how all the fairy cake girls and people have, um, those, like, either those white polka dot, black and white polka dot leggings, or I've seen a few with white and black polka dot shorts. I don't know why, but I really want them for a staple and, like, fairy cake if I ever, like, just in general, like, this is a great staple for some reason for me, and I've just been really wanting a pair or looking for a pair of some like that. It's just, they're just so cute. I got this in a 16 
a UK 16R, which is a US 12R. This is just their regular. The R stands for like the length of their pants, which is a um and regular, and there's like a long or whatever. It is quite oversized. I really like this. This is from their newest collection. I think it's Sweet Something, but I can't remember. But I just really like this. Also, I don't have anything like this, and I don't know anyone that I know that in real life or someone you know that knows about this brand, but to also has anything like this, and so it's cool to get these like interesting pieces for your wardrobe. Also, the ties for this is, um, there's no, like, button. So, like, it was kind of hard for me to figure it out, but then you can do, like, really cool ties. I kind of been keeping it to this, like, kind of basic tie. I like it like that. It also, like, I have something to touch and hold on to. Um, yeah, but I will get it back more into, like, more into, like, the fit and stuff like that. Try on portion, so. This is the first pair. Um, really cute, right? Um, I love them. I don't know if you can tell, but this is, they reach me all the way down, and it's rolled up, so they're quite long, so I think I like them. The only thing is that they're causing me a lot of sensory issues, specifically in the legs. They are really big in the legs, like, enormous. Um, and I still want them to be like this wide thing, but right here is quite uncomfortable. I really don't like that. Um, and they're a bit too long. So I'm going to attempt, I probably just ruined it. I'm going to attempt to take them in. Um, just to be a little bit, because they're wide. Like, I just want to take them in like maybe an inch or so because of how wide it is. Like, this is... I feel like I could have sized down actually just because of how much space but I like how this fits I just don't like in between here it fits very uncomfortably like not that uncomfortable but it's just like I know that after a while that I will feel like I want to rip my skin off <laughs> I need to take it in and just take it in the legs if I get it taken in the legs then I should be fine um if I don't do it myself But this is one of the ways that I would style this also. Also, the pockets are humongous. I could fit, like I'm gonna show you. This is my hard drive, okay? This is my, there's still space. Deodorant. Still some more space. pockets are so big I don't even think I would need a bag also because there is a belt loop I could add this here oh that's cute I like that oh I also have another one okay let's go to the next one then the next thing I got were these pair of pants I needed more pants obviously I've been saying that I need more pants I don't have a lot of pants I don't own a lot of pants I think at the moment I own about like three pairs of pants and one of them I hate and the other one I'm not sure fits me anymore. One, I bought another pair of pants but they no longer fit. I bought them and they fit and then within a couple months they didn't fit anymore. So it's quite kind of sad because these are rare find but um, if they are also from the new re release. These are these gingham pants. Now I don't have anything like these. Also I like the mom jean thing but I do like like skinny jeans. I'm I guess I am uh, someone who likes skinny jeans still. I don't know why. I don't like, you know, suffocating, like, but, like, they fit to you. They're not, like, squeezing you in, but they fit to you. I feel a lot more comfortable that way just because of sensory reasons for, like, in between my thighs and my legs. I just like that feeling a bit more than baggy pants is why I don't buy sweats, really, or pajama pants because that's very uncomfortable for me. But these are so cute like these are just so cool it looks like it's a perp it's a the pink is more of like a purplish pink it looks a bit more purple it looks really good with the um this like greenish blue and then the yellow looks really great like these colors i would never thought to put together but they work i already have like many different ideas for like 
how to wear this so great i got this one in a w34 um l30 i the sizing is a bit weird i like you to size up and size out for certain things because of how the fit works which is i want to try getting out some other pants from their other like like cuts or whatever so i can see how that works when I do, I will let you know and see how much I like that. I do really want their vulva pants, but that was from like a while ago, and so I've been trying to look for those online, like on Depop, like secondhand and stuff. Okay, so here's how I style the pants, and here's how they fit. See, now these pants are perfect. They get me exactly right at the right length for my ankles. I am, yes, I am wearing my We Are All Lesbians prom t shirt. I just forgot how long this shirt is. Like, the shirt stops here. <laughs> it's like a dress, basically. Um, I have on this iridescent belt and then this belt chain from Hot Topic. Isn't this just, this is so cute. Nice, comfy, casual, like the possibility, possibility of pants. I've never known them because I don't have many pants, especially not pants that I like this one. Why is Maple screaming? Sorry, Maple needs to use the bathroom. He was in his kennel, but um, yeah, I feel like very sapphic in this shirt. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm wearing this t-shirt, but like, put on these Doc Martens. Oh. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I love this. Another way I would have styled it is with this t-shirt. Yes, it's on the floor. I was, I tried it on when I put on with this shirt, this pants on for the first time. This is like a nice summery, summer-esque outfit. Yes, there's a lot of yellow. But this top would go really cute. It's got it is really cute with these pair. When I put these pants on, I should say, when I put these pants on, I did feel a little bit emotional. One, because of how great they fit, but two, because I've never in my life had pants that fit me to my exact leg length. Does that make sense? Like they don't bunch up at the ankle, they stop, <laughs> like they stop how pants are supposed to stop. Never have had these pants, pants always scrunch up at the end, or I roll them up and then have to pull them up if they scrunch up, up and it's a lot. Okay, <laughs> on to the next one. This one, the next one is a top, okay. So for the last few things I've shown, they're from the same like release, like collection that they've just done. Um, and there's also this top. So, I think everyone knows I'm a sucker for like a nice rainbow. Um, I'm looking at the things I have in my closet. There's about a couple things with a good amount of rainbow in here. And I needed something for the winter time slash fall time. And this is perfect. This is a perfect pastel rainbow top. What more could you ask for? Usually I would get an extra large, but this on the website they said, oh, you should try for a large, and so I got a large. This is what I got for myself. The next two things I, g I got for myself. So this and the other thing I got for myself. The other two things my mom got for me. I was, I really had to snatch this up because the other... I don't know why Maple's doing this. <sighs> what are you doing? Your friend's not here yet. Who do you want? Come. You can come. <clears throat> Say hello. Nosy. Are you okay now? Are you gonna stop screaming? I have makeup on. Okay, come on, let's go. Say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. I'm leaving now. Uh, leave my microphone on. Come on. They, I usually would get an extra large at a top like this, but because of the website, I'm very worried that I was like, I was like, maybe I should just get the extra large because just in case I gain any weight and then I can still have this shirt, but the shirt is pretty stretchy, so if I gain any weight, it should still fit me, but 
This is really cute and it's super soft. Like, it's very soft. I just really like this. So, here's a top. Here's one way that I would style this. It's very plain, very casual. I'm not sure. There's something missing. Whenever I wear this skirt, I feel these, like, and I have the pink and the blue version of this. But whenever I wear the skirt, like, I need to add something to it because the skirt is so. This skirt. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. Um, if someone could give me some advice or some ideas, that would be great. But um, I don't know. Oh, oh, what if I did this? Oh wait, hold on. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Oh wait, I think I like this. I don't know if I like the yellow so much, but I do. Obviously, like I said before, I have the blue. No, I think I like the yellow. Or the pink could work as well, but like, this is cute. This is cute. Hello. This is cute. I need something in the middle. Something in the middle. If this skirt had loops, it would work perfectly, but like, okay. Obviously, I'm not sewing this that well, but, oh well, yeah, okay. That's perfect. Oh my god. And what if I, this would be my, too much, but put it with these shoes? Oh my god! I'm not putting these shoes on because it's like light, but <laughs> isn't this so cute? Again, like I said, see? It never stays, but I think that it kind of works if it doesn't stay. I kind of want to add like removable belt loops to this skirt so that I can wear belts with this because this skirt looks so great with belts. Even though this thing does not fit me that well anymore, but this with this oh my god the stripes and the polka dots i don't know why but it works okay and this is our last thing this is the one that i'm i love so much i love them all but like i really love this one because this one i've been look i've been wanting to get for a while now um even though i don't think they've had it out for long but it just sold out or it may be i don't i don't remember i'm just gonna show you <laughs> So, it is this lovely number, these, I think it's called the ra Wavy Rainbow, or rain wa Rainbow Wavy, I think this is in the original dungarees cut, and I love this. The difference between these dungarees and the other ones is that this is um, a regular, um, the other ones are denim, like they're denim, and this is not. I think this might be just plain old cotton. I can check here, here to see. Yeah, it's just cotton. It's organic cotton and then 2% elastane, which there's not much of a stretch if I'm honest with you. Um, I got these also in a 16, a UK 16 R, obviously. I just love these. They're so cute. Um, the other two things I wanted to get are the um, dungarees with the smiley faces on it and then the dungaree like pinafore dress with the daisies the green one with the daisies i don't have a lot of green things in my closet so that'd be the other way to have green into my closet i will have like i think at least four things now green i just really like these these are so cute honestly this is something that like i i like it so much that i don't i have like one way that I, I know i'm gonna style this but like i like it so much that i'm like my brain is bursting with so many different ways to style this like i can't figure out like want another way to style this but I know I will and I can't wait to see the other ways I'm going to style this and they're so comfortable I feel like these are perfect for comfy wear and still looking cute and I can wear it in the winter time summertime fall spring so I'm gonna be wearing these a lot I'm very excited for all of these is it very much I like this one obviously as I said before it fits like pretty big actually yeah it's kind of big it's not as big as the this one, the denim one, but it fits. Also, the denim one had back pockets. This one does not, but I digress. The, I don't know. I don't know what to style this one with. I was trying this one, but it's giving me very clown vibes, which I don't have a problem with. I just don't know if I could, I don't know. I like it, like I like it with this. I was thinking of trying it with this. Cause like, I don't know, it looks like it would work. Oh, I could try it with this this little sweater here. I, I like it. I think if once this thing gets ironed and stuff, it'd look really cute together. Um, actually, I think that now that I've tightened it a bit more, um, this is not as bad. The legs are not as bad. I thought the legs were going to give me a lot of issues, but this is actually, like, sensory-wise, 
the legs and stuff are better than the jean. I feel so free. Like, <laughs> I feel so free in this. Yeah, I think I do like this. I just need to iron this shirt. I think that's the big problem. <gasps> you know who I feel like? The girl from the big comfy couch. Oh my god. I should get like one another one of these dungarees, like in a different color that's like closer to this thing, and dress up as her for Halloween. How does that sound? <laughs> I loved that show. As a kid, I used to do that, the clock stretch. Oh my god, oh my god. Also, if you like, wanna dress kind of office-like, I guess you can wear this shirt, but like, is this really office wear? I don't know. I don't plan on working in an office space. I don't know, I just love this. Also, the length of these are still pretty long, but I rolled up the hem and I tightened this as much as I could without it giving me a camel toe of sorts. But who's really paying attention to that when you got all of this up here happening? I don't know what shoes to put on with this, but I do know what bag to wear. Oh, this is so perfect. I love this. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> I feel unstoppable. Oh, with my demonias. <gasps> Stop. Stop it right now. Or a picnic. Going on a picnic date. If I wanted to, I could still keep this or switch it over to the sweater, the, the pop pump sweater. And take this basket. We could go full on mushroom bag. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, I do have a mushroom bag. Isn't that cute? I feel like I need to get bitter straps for this. These are children's size straps. And I also need to make better straps for this bag. I love this. Like, I don't think I felt this inspired or this excited about clothes I've gotten like this in a long time. Like the last time I can remember feeling this excited about it, about clothes, like, was when I got my <laughs> Lazy Oaf rainbow dress. I knew I was gonna like these. I didn't know I was gonna like it this much. And it was gonna make me this happy, um, which is great because if you've watched my girl with me, you know that I have not felt that, like, happy, and these make me feel really happy. I am very hot and sweaty right now, but I feel very happy. Talk about comfy. Want comfy? I'll give you comfy. What? I can't hear you. Me and my mushroom bag. And my very much... Huh? I can't hear you. I am living my... I'm just feeling myself. You don't like it? I can't hear you. Can't hear anything anyone says to me with this outfit on. I feel like an art teacher. If I could deal with kids and not have a panic attack, I'd be an art teacher. Actually, no, I can't do art. So, I'd just be a really cool teacher. What could I teach? I can't teach math. I have this calcula. I could teach sewing. I could be like in an elective class. Um, I don't know how to play any instruments, really. Good thing I'm not being a teacher because I don't want to teach English. Like, I could, but I don't want to. I'm just not set up to be a teacher. The last time I worked at a job with children, I had a panic attack. One of the kids made me get a panic attack, so... I think staying away from child-oriented jobs is probably the best thing for me. I'm just trying to figure out what would be a good job for this outfit. Hot Topic? I could work on Hot Topic. No, most of the Hot Topic workers are more me dark and edgy and emo and stuff. And <laughs> can you imagine me? I can because I did apply for a job at Hot Topic. Hopefully I get it because I love to work at Hot Topic. All of these things are very like, di in, like dynamic. They're very much unique. Obviously my whole wardrobe is kind of a unique thing, but like this is very much more unique than anything that I do have in my closet. And for one, they're very long. I don't know how I'm going to hang these in my closet because my closet is not like 
a closet closet, but even then it would still be, it's not in my old closet, so it's like, I don't know. I just figured out how, how to hang these so they don't like touch the ground, but those are all the things. Um, trying them on, I'm going to, most likely what's going to happen is that I'll probably end up tailoring the, the two dungarees just because for, as I've said before, in the try on portion it's just sensory things that that's all i have um i'll probably end up wearing them more often you'll see in the videos i'll probably get the next two but i'm not gonna do a haul of them because i don't want to keep resort to doing hauls all the time again so but that's the end of this video those are all the things i got i hope you liked them if you did i will make sure to leave the link down below for these products they're in between I think the most expensive one was like 87 the cheapest one was like 36 because the top was 36 and then like, yeah. So, uh, it, it's like not, the budget usually goes between a, for like clothing pieces, between a 30, like $30 to at least, I think the most I've seen is 90 I think, I don't know if, like, if I can remember correctly, but that's what the kind of the price range is. So it's not like extremely like, it's not extremely aff affordable, but it's like, you can still like put a little bit of money away and then you can end up getting stuff and um, shipping was extremely fast. I ordered the, the the stuff for myself, ordered them like last week, Monday, and they got there by that like Thursday, Wednesday. I know. And they're coming from the UK, so I was very surprised by that. Alright, let's get this done because I'm starting to feel a bit sick because I have a migraine. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Comment what you would like to see from me. Or um, my next video is going to be quite interesting. I'm doing a kind of a sit down video, and you're going to see a little bit of a, the Twi Hard fan, Twi Hard side of me come out. So be prepared for that. Um, I hope you guys enjoy that video. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you.